Hello, you. Looking at the screen right now. On your screen. You're going to see. Dangerous dog to defeat another boss. So who is it? Oh, is it another watchdog? Oh, it's a bloodstorm beast. Okay. Another one? Another one. DJ Khaled. Hold on, let me just do this. Okay, attack. Nice, now I do more damage. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn it. I wanna do a visceral on you by doing that. What? I guess I can't do it. Oh well. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Easy, bro. What are you kidding me? It was nothing but a newborn. Nothing but a newborn. Well, that was really easy. I think that was the Hinter Tomb Root Chalice, I believe. The regular one. We're not in the central yet. Let me see. This one is the Devoted Central Themirian. We've already completed that one. This one was the Devoted Hinter Tomb. But this is the, the, the Root Chalice one. This is the, the root hinter team. So we can now remove this, because it's already over. Uh, do I have the, the, the proper for this? Nope. This is where we're trying to aim for next. We're trying to aim for the lower Thamiria root chalice, because we've already did the central Thamiria root chalice, which is right here, right? Yeah, central. Um, maybe I should actually put the, the root chalices on this grave, and then, fo and then put the other ones on, on this grave. Uh, so that way, just so I can keep it organized. Yeah, so we need, we're need we aiming for the lower Thamiri Root Chalice, but I need Inflicted Organ. I only have I only have one Inflicted Organ at the moment. Then once we get to this one, then we can go ahead and click both of these. I think Fetid Offering increases the, uh, the damage that the enemies do, like all their stats are increased. Um, but you get more... You get more... You get more blood echoes, and they drop more items, I think, if it's for the fetid offering. Uh, for the rotted offering, I think it was, uh, there's like certain summons, like NPC, you're gonna feel, uh, fight a lot of NPC hunters uh, in there, which is pretty cool, won't lie. There's also other benefits too, also with the rotted uh, offering. And the last one is supposed to be the cursed offering, which uh, minimizes your health by half, I believe it was, and then it does some other shit too, but... Yeah, that's that's all I can remember for the for the most part. But yeah, we're trying to aim for the Lord of Thamiria uh, chalice. But I guess now we're gonna have to go for. Let me put it over here for the Hinter Tomb. That would make sense, I guess. Uh, so we did this, the Hinter Tomb brew chalice. Now we're gonna go for the lower Hinter Tomb chalice. Let's do it. Vamos. Uh, hold on, I gotta repair my weapons. Look at my insight, I'm at 46. I'm pretty sure insight in this game, like the more you have, the harder the game gets. So it's absolutely crazy! Uh, I don't need any of you. But we're gonna repair you. We're getting a lot of blood gemstones from these bosses, and none of them are even doing anything to my weapons. Ooh, strength scaling, hey. I don't have a weapon that scales with strength. Well, not yet, anyway. I might switch it up soon. I might, uh, I might level up the... What's a really good strength weapon? I know this is bad, but I might level up the Kurt Hammer to max. Uh, let me see here. Oh yeah, maybe just the Whirligig, right, right, right. The Whirligig is probably the best strength scaling weapon in the game. Um, but to be honest, the best weapon in the game, it has to scale very well with all the attribute bonuses. 
Like, if let's just say that uh, World of Giga level 10 is like S in strength, but D in uh, skill, and then it's like C in arcane. Uh, maybe the the Kirk Hammers might be skill S in strength at uh, level 10. Uh, skill like B or C or something in skill, and it's uh, skills like uh, C on arcane. This is an example, it's not facts. Uh, but if his skills really high on the attribute bonuses, then it makes the weapon the best weapon in the game, right? Just because you can upgrade the other uh, the other attributes as well, and then it gives more strength or more power towards that weapon. So if the World of Gig Saw Blade is better than the Kirk Hammer level 10, or even the Ludwig's Holy Blade at level 10, then clearly the World of Gig is the best weapon. I mean, there are, all, are also different weapons, like the Little Garrus' wheel also... Uh, it also scales very well with strength as well. It has nothing to do with skill, by the looks of it. Um, blood litter, nice. Uh, this is a blood tinged weapon. I see. Amygdalian arm. Cause parasite. That is an arcane weapon. If I, uh, I think I said in one of the videos, the previous videos uh, from this video, I said that I was wanting to do an arcane build. I might do it with this weapon. I might. Not entirely sure. I need 20 arcane to use this thing. That's crazy. At one point, I think I'm gonna try to defeat Amygdala. Or not, not Amygdala. Uh, I'm gonna try to defeat Viker Amelia, then go to the DLC right away. Uh, and then defeat Orphan of Cause, and then get this weapon, and then proceed onwards with the game. Just, just so I can have this weapon, and then I'd be an arcane build. Holy shit, it has 600 dur durability? Wow. What the hell is this weapon? Uh, when the carcass of Koss washed up on the coast, its insides were teeming with tiny parasites, unlike any found in humans. Uh, this atypical weapon can use, can only be clasped uh, tight and swung by a Koss parasite is said to stimulate phantasms inhabiting a lumen wood. Weird. Such a weird looking weapon. Crazy. Oh, but there you go. Anyways, guys, yeah, that's the, uh... That was the Bloodstarved Beast. Now we're gonna go ahead into this, uh... The lower Hinder Doom Chalice. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.